Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching the most excellent and exciting series on ESP32 camera module. And we had also seen ton loads of lessons on ESP32 module. So let's get started guys. In the previous lesson, I showed you some basic, uh, uh, you know, circuits and stuff like that to hook up your ESP32 camera module. In this lesson, we will use one real example to load the code into your ESP32 cam and start streaming the video into the web browser. It's going to get interesting and it's going to be really exciting for the first time first timers who are getting into this kind of uh, lessons anyways. So before we proceed further, one important thing, go ahead and hook up your uh, circuit to your FTDI. I, I gave you some details about the FTDI, how it works and stuff like that in the previous lesson. Go ahead and take a look. Now, there is a slight difference between the previous circuit, the previous lesson I showed you a circuit drawing versus this particular circuit. This is specially for only uploading the code, right? When you are uploading the code, make sure that your 3.3 volt is connected to your VCC pin and the GPIO 3 and 1 that is UOR and UOT to TX and RX and ground to ground. So and there is also a jumper between uh, pin number four and five uh, to hook it up. That is only for programming guys. Make sure this is only to upload the code, nothing else. Once the code is uploaded, you are going to dismantle this, right? So uh, before we proceed guys, uh, you know, I have, I have really struggled a lot initially to upload the codes into the ESP32 cam. It was giving me tons of error in terms of not getting connected and stuff like that. I did a lot of R&D and did go through Google and search for information, search for troubleshooting tips and kind of thing. And I wrote down some important thumb rules. So make a note of this thumb rule. If you follow these thumb rules, it's very easy for you to upload the codes into your ESP32 cam. So let me share this thumb rule which I made. This is purely based on my experience. I mean, you might encounter some other issues, right? But based on my research and the kind of issues I faced for loading the code into ESP32 cam, this is what I, I found and I wrote it down. So most important thing before the, before program uploading before you upload the program your usb cable from ftdi to your computer should be short in order to transfer the signals fast else you will face difficulties in uploading the code this means that generally your usb to micro usb cable is about one one and a half meter sometimes lengthy ones right so go ahead and buy the shortest available in the market the one which i have is hardly half a meter right so try to keep as short as possible Second point, from FTDI pins to ESP32 cam pin, the jumper wire should be as short as possible. The jumper wires, bus wires, which you get in the market, it's like 40 centimeter, 50 centimeter, 30 centimeter. Try to use the five centimeter one. So let me show you the one which I'm using. Let me just show it to you. So this is, this is how short it is, right? So if you use longer ones lengthier ones i i was struggling i connected along that 40 centimeter wires and you know try to keep a camera away with the ftdi cable and it gave me ton loads of error the program was not loading at all so i i tried to figure out with different kind of wires and jumper wires and this size perfectly worked it perfectly worked so go ahead and procure as shorter wires right and Always set the FTDI to 3.3 volt jumper when you are uploading the program. Always. This is the thumb rule. Set the jumper. So let me show you where the jumper is. If you haven't seen my previous video, you might go ahead and look at it. So in FTDI, if you see, this is the jumper, a small jumper which will be written as 5 volt and 3.3 volt. So make sure that it is on 3.3 volt only. It's very important when you are uploading the code all right and then always connect the esp32 cam 3.3 volt pin to ftdi 3.3 volt pin so that means uh, your as per this circuit you got to follow this right your 3.3 volt to your 3.3 volt so that is what it means now let's let's take a look rest of the road now once the program is uploaded remove the jumper wire right so let me show it to you remove the jumper wire 
let me show it so if you see here in my circuit i just disconnected one end of the wire generally it should be connected like this next to each other so make sure that one end is disconnected or maybe you can remove both the ends so it should be this is after uploading the program once the program is uploaded after that right and then always set the ftdi to 5.5 wall jumper when you are executing the program and looking at the results on the terminal which means once your program is uploaded using 3.3 wall jumper right once it is done you are going to disconnect the wire and go back to your ftdi program or board and remove the jumper put it into 5.5 wall so this is what it looks like let me show it to you so if you see here before i loaded the program it was in 3.3 volt now it is in 5 point now it is in 5 volt this is after uploading your code so once you are done that change it all right now always connect the esp32 cam 5.5 volt pin to your ftdi and ensure that ftdi jumper is set to 5.5 okay O open the Arduino terminal and change the baud rate to 115 200 bits per second. So this settings you need to change in your terminal that is your uh, serial monitor right. And then you have to press the reset button once. After you open the terminal you have to press the reset button. Unfortunately the reset button in ESP32 cam is at the back side. So you cannot use a breadboard you have to, you have to hold it in your hand. All right, guys, so enough of uh, talking. Let's go ahead and try to use our example. So let me share my screen here. So I am on Arduino IDE. So once you open up your Arduino IDE, make sure that you go to tools and then you select the board as AI Thinker ESP32 CAM board. So that is the brand which I bought it, which I am using it. So this is where you get it some of you might have different model of esp32 cam so most likely 80 percent of the folks will get ai thinker esp32 cam but some of you might have let me show you it might be this one esp32 rover model module or dev module so dev module is little different most likely you might get the rover module or you might get the AI Thinker ESP32 CAM. So I am going to select AI Thinker 32 CAM and then you need to make sure this important thing go to tools again. Okay, go to tools. Your CPU frequency should be 240 megahertz. Guys, this is again based on my trial and error and I had been, I, I was struggling a lot to load the program. After, after testing all these things, I, I, I was confident and comfortable enough to use these settings, right? So your CPU frequency should be 240 megahertz and your flash frequency should be at 80 megahertz, right? Make sure you select this and the flash mode should be in QIO. I'm going to take a separate session to explain you what is this QIO and DIO and Q out and D out means, okay? Port, of course, you need to select the COM port and once you are done, go to file go to file go to examples if you go to examples go down go down to esp32 you will find this esp32 on the right side there's something called camera in camera you have to click camera web server once you click web server this is the code you will get all right and once you get this code what you need to do you need to uh, you know, uncomment these sections. These are all predefined depending upon the board which you have, right? So these are predefined, uh, uh, you know, uh, sections based on the board. You need to uncomment this. So for example, here, hash defined camera model AI thinker. So this is mine. So it should, it will be ideally like this when you open it for the first time. So you have to remove these two forward slash. In case you have this rover kit, right then you need to remove this forward slash and put a hash hash define like this all right i'm going to comment it up again because i'm using ai thinker and then you come down these two line number 22 and 23 you need to put your ssid that is your wi-fi id and your password this is mine all right so once you do that 
all you need to do is you are all set okay you are all set now go ahead and upload the program i am not going to upload because for me it's uploaded already so all i am going to do one, once you upload at the bottom you need to get this particular you know this particular message all right you you will you will you will definitely receive all this something called writing at 96% 97% writing 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 the first message which you get once you click upload should be like this let me just show it to you it should be like this it should say connecting yeah it should say connecting here it should start with connecting with three four dots right in case if this message if you continue to get connecting 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 with four dots again that means there is some problem right so what you need to do i'll tell you a troubleshooting tips remove the usb from your port again connect it then what you do you hold the reset button behind your esp32 cam hold it and click the upload hold it first first you hold it before uploading hold it first click upload and then as soon as you see this connecting it will go back to the chip esp32 download so you re release it immediately then you can see uploading the stuff or running the stuff run, and then all this will populate and then once you see this writing at 0x00 that means it's perfect you are able to successfully load and then it will say writing writing 0% 2% 5% 10% blah and it will go on up to 100% obviously once you reach 100% it will show okay wrote so many x amount of bytes and then finally you should get this particular message this is very important this is the most important hard reset resetting via rts pin board at com 11 is not available water right that's fine so you should get that message till that that time do not do anything let it run it it may take two minutes it may take five minutes sometimes more so be patient let it run all right now once you upload all right now what we need to do go to the serial monitor all right keep this open and then make sure that you your your board is connected to again to the 5 volt right not 3.3 volt now i am going to press the reset button i'll press the reset button it should get connected to what is happening ah the wires are loose let me just close it and open it again and then you have to press the reset button this is kind of weird baud rate seems to be okay maybe i will have to do some troubleshooting let me just check if i am connected to the com com seems to be connected board seems to be connected all right troubleshooting once again give me a second guys Sometimes even if the wires are loose, it's a kind of pain. It happens. That is the fun of troubleshooting, right? And it's connected to 5 volt. Alright. Okay, let me just try again. Press the reset. There is nothing happening. program was uploaded successfully but for some reason i don't know let me just pull out the usb and connect it again com 11 
and my board AI Tinker AI Tinker now let me open the serial monitor now let me press the reset button All right, there seems to be some kind of misbehavior. Let me just troubleshoot, guys. Just give me a minute. All right, just give me a minute. I'll be... Let me just unplug this and plug it again. Yeah, sometimes this happens, guys. I mean, sometimes the loose wires, unfortunately, you know, that's how it is let me just share my screen again so what we will do just give me a second guys it's kind of driving me nuts sometimes all this clumsy wires and the loose connections okay all right now let's see let me just try to run code has been uploaded let me just try to open the serial monitor and click reset button there you go all right thank god it's come up now can you see there are dots okay fine perfect so your ESP32 cam is connected to the web browser, your, 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 your Wi-Fi, right? Now we need to use, can you see this message? Your camera is ready. Use this particular URL. Now I am going to open this up. I don't think I can copy it, but you need to type it physically. 192.168.0.100. So you got to type this 192. 192.168.0.100 and there you go this is your browser and this is this is uh, this particular GUI what you see within the browser is part of your code which has been loaded the example code which I showed you a couple of minutes back now go to the left scroll down you can click start the stream once you start the stream you can see the browser you can see the camera live video monitoring there you go guys it's perfect it gets hung in between which is fine you can just refresh it refresh again start streaming and there you go let me just move the camera a bit all right, the resolution seems to be good. Okay, the resolution seems to be good and there is no lag. So the speed, the frame rate seems to be pretty decent, right? All right, guys. So this was the test session to understand, uh, you know, how, how the test program works and how to stream the video on the web and stuff like that. So in the coming lesson, I will talk about the face recognition. Can you see it here? Face recognition, face detection, color bar, and we are going to modify this code in such a way that we will customize. The best part is the example code is there. So now we need to, we can modify in such a way that we can create our own GUI here to do the face detection, color de detection, color recognition, object recognition, all those things are possible using ESP32 CAM. Of course, initially you will be struggling a bit to load the program itself, but once you get a hang of it, it's going to be pretty, pretty much easy, right? So have fun and keep things ready. I'll be back soon in the next video. We will do some magic using these programs. Goodbye, guys.